You know, one of the questions a lot of customers have is, how do they tell the difference between a hybrid, a plug-in hybrid, and then battery electric vehicles? There's all sorts of letters out there that mean different things. Well, you know, a hybrid is like our, our Fusion Hybrid or Lincoln MKZ or new C-Max Hybrid. It, it doesn't require a plug, but it has a large battery stored on board that stores energy, works in combination with electric motors, so you're basically using stored on board electric energy, electric machines in combination with the engine to give you that great fuel efficiency, but no change in behavior for the customer. A plug-in hybrid, for us, we use the same architecture and a lot, and the majority of the components are the same, but now you have a plug. So overnight, you can recharge your plug-in hybrid. So the first thing you do in a plug-in is you charge it up, you discharge that electric energy, and then what? It runs like a regular hybrid. As we uh, have tried to design our hybrids, one of the toughest challenges we have is affordability, making it affordable for the customer and taking the cost, because there's extra parts on the car. There's a battery, a large battery, lithium ion battery. There's motors, electric motors. There's power electronics. There's wiring for the high voltage. All of that adds cost. And so to help make this as affordable as possible, we use the same architecture, the same technology, and a lot of the same components for the motors, the power electronics, the cables, the controllers, between our hybrid and our plug-in hybrid. The batteries are different. The batteries have different battery cells. So the cell itself for a hybrid is different than the cell for a battery electric vehicle or the cell for a plug-in hybrid. What we have to have is a value proposition that works for the customer. And first and foremost is, does it, does it pay? Does it make sense? Do I get fuel savings and cost of fuel savings and insurance and maintenance and all of those things that may offset a slightly higher initial purchase price? And so, uh, you know, as customers look at value, we want to make sure the drive experience is uncompromised. Um, it, it's a real car, it's fun to drive, it's, it's good to go down the road, you know it's intuitive and easy to use, you enjoy it, meets all of your needs, and it gives you a reasonable payback period. MPG-E, which is a new definition, if you get a label with a car that plugs in, you're going to look at that Moroni label, or the label on the car that tells you about fuel economy, it's going to have this thing called MPG-E. It's a calculation that uh, the government came up with, very complex, it, and actually as consumers try to relate to it, it it's going to be difficult. It's going to be hard to say, did I hit the MPGE? And what that really is, is it, it's a comparator that allows you to look across plug-in vehicles and compare their efficiency on an, you know, thinking of it as the equivalency of a, electricity per a gallon of gasoline. So I can now look between Ford plug-in vehicles, energy product, and other plug-in vehicles and say, oh, which one is most energy efficient? That's what MPGE really reflects. You know, one of the things we love about our strategy is we've taken our plug-in hybrids, our energy products, the Fusion Energy or C-Max Energy, and we've made sure that can be recharged on a typical 110 outlet. So what that says is a lot of our customers, if they have a garage or access to a plug, they really don't require additional infrastructure. One of the questions we get is, geez, what if I can only plug in for 20 minutes or two hours? versus the full charge. Oh, is that going to hurt the battery? The answer is, nope, not at all. Uh, it won't hurt it at all. As a matter of fact, we encourage people, if you have access to a plug and you have a plug-in vehicle and you can top it off, well, that gives you more what? Electric miles that day. So this is why we even see employers installing charge stations in employee parking lots so that their employees can come from home plug in at work and actually double maybe their miles electric.